hey it's me Rue hashtag Rue crew I want to do a little update basically and tell you what's happening what's going on so stay tuned for a Rue ramble I know you totally miss them also someone said they missed my sass and my sass was back and I just oh god that comment made me smile so much yes this sass is back oh. Sorry, I'm in a lot of pain, so I can't, not fully up the SAS scale, but I'm like getting back up there. But honestly, starting off with you guys, you make me smile, you keep me going more than I can ever explain. And I do try to reply to every comment, but like I say, I feel bad because I want to, but I don't have the strength at the minute. But please know every comment, every message means the world. I read what someone reads to me and I appreciate them and I love them. And if I like, I like them if I can, if I can, can reply, I will. But please know you are seen, you are heard and you are appreciated and your love and support never, ever goes unnoticed. So yeah, I am home. The team works so, so hard. If you don't know, I'm Ruth. I'm 30 years old. I live with life limiting conditions. There's a pin post on my profile if you want to find out why and a bit more. Um, and answer, I'll answer any questions, but it might take me a bit a few weeks at the minute because I'm just out of hospital after two weeks and a bit fighting sepsis again. Um, I live with intestinal failure, bladder failure, um, POTS, um, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, Addison's disease, multiple complications which affect multiple organs. Um, and yeah, it's all very complicated. But anyway, away from all of that, I'm alive and that's the main thing and I've got through and we postponed our holiday to Cornwall back in June and another holiday we were meant to go in September um, just locally, um, sorry I mean in England locally away for a week and then we had to cancel that so we missed so much um, and um, yeah we postponed the Cornwall, we were meant to give two weeks but we got one week back for the end of this month, we thought we're not going to make it but the team have made that happen so we are going tomorrow to Cornwall for a week which is super Duper, duper exciting. Like, I can't even explain how excited I am. I mean, I'm utterly exhausted too. But away from that, we're going and that's what matters. Things aren't perfect, no. But I have everything I need medically. I have all the medical equipment. I am fully trained as my mum is trained as well, but I'm fully trained and qualified to do all my own IVs, TPN, medications, every, everything. Um, and I'm very, very grateful. And we're so grateful for all the teams and nurses that trained me up over the last few years. Um, I help my mum as well so we can go on these trips and make the most of life because we can't cure what's happening to me, we can't stop progression, we just have to manage it best we can. Um, and this is my situation, my personal situation, this is what I'm doing, not everyone would do this and that's absolutely okay. This is my situation, what I want to do is live my life and make the most of it because life is precious, I've not got, not got time for negativity, toxicity, any of all of that, just live my life. If you want to come along with me then great. Um, yeah. I've forgotten what I was going to say now, brain fog moment, if you know, you know. Um, yeah, we're going and it's probably going to rain, be cold, but I'm just as sick here as I am over there. And so why not be over there and make some memories and be on a beach in like 10 degrees with two hoodies on and a hot water bottle and blanket. Um, and we'll make the most of it. That's what we're good at as a family. Make the most of every opportunity. The glass half full, is it half empty? It's half full. Um, we only have today. We only have right here, right now. And I hate my situation, not hate, sorry. No, I'm not gonna lie, I hate my illness and what it does to my organs and what it does to my family and friends, people around me and the burden it puts on people. I hate the illness. I don't hate my life, I hate the illness. I changed the location up a bit because I'm outside and there's fresh air and I have not had that too in a bit week, so oh, I just lay in the fresh air. Oh, ah, it's so amazing, sight pajamas. Feeling utterly exhausted and so much pain and not well at all, but I'm outside and I'm alive and that is amazing. But back to what I was saying, yeah, I, the illness can drive me up the wall and I'm allowed to hate it and be frustrated and that is okay. But I love my life, my friends, my family, my boyfriend, Willow, the flowers, the trees, the nature around me, the fresh air, the beauty and the sunsets and, and the, the um, uh, uh, what's the opposite of sunset? Sunset and sundown, sun, sunrise and um, people and just talking to, to people, my online family, smiling at a stranger on the street, to watching a silly video on TikTok, to your dog making you laugh, to eating lovely food or tasting drinks, to wearing cute pyjamas and snuggling in a blanket. There's so many beautiful things in life and they may seem small to others but they're big to me because I never know I'm going to get these opportunities or experiences again. I've got to treasure every single one of them. Um, I'm rambling on but this is re-rambles and this is, what, this is me, it's just me and yeah, um, I might post a lot this next week, I might not, I might be indoors on the sofa the whole time, I might manage to get out loads, I might not, it, I don't know, all I'm going to do is make the most, enjoy time with my family, my brother's coming down as well and Willow and make memories because 
in reality I may look well. <laughs> I'm good at faking looking well, but inside I'm not. Some people are like, oh, you can't be that sick or that poorly. I'm like, you know what? I don't care what people think. If they think that, they're not, they're not true friends of mine, true family of mine. People who know me know how sick I am. And I don't need to prove to anybody and neither do you. Please remember that. You don't have to justify yourself to anybody. You know the truth, right? You know the truth and you're being honest with yourself. Be happy, that's all that matters. Um, yeah. And I've got amazing people in my life and that includes all of you watching this, all of your support. Your comments lift me up more than I can ever explain. Um, and yeah. But don't worry, Ruth's happy thought will always be here. And that will be there every day, always. Um, I love you all. Thank you for all your support for watching all of this. Hashtag Rue is back or hashtag Rue crew. Um, yeah, I just want to update you on what's happening. And yeah, I'll do a proper health update when I'm back because things aren't great health wise. But, you know, I'm on the non lipid bags more because my liver and we have to be extra careful and we're still waiting for my new Hickman line to be put in. But every surgery, every surgery comes with risks and problems and um, my veins. Yeah. But anyway, right now I'm, I'm getting what I need and we'll make the most of what we can and put on a brave face. It's also okay to not be okay. That's also okay. Um, we ramble on because that's me and be you because everyone else is taken and you're amazing. Yeah, you are amazing because you've watched all of this. That makes you amazing and a bit weird, but we love weird. Join the weird group. Um, I love you all. It is beautiful. The sun is shining ish. We're in pajamas and we're going to go connect all my IVs. Um, but they keep me alive, they keep me at home. And yeah, for now, I'm alive and I'm here and I'm going to make the most of every, every blimmin' moment. I'm home. I love you all. Mwah.